Hey, welcome to Simple Programming. I hope you all are well today. In the next few minutes, we are going to discuss the comparison between three popular IDE that is in the market that is Eclipse, IntelliJ and VS Code. Today we will dive into the world of Java Integrated Development Environment that is IDE. And before we dive into the specific of uh, the different type of Java IDE, let's talk about uh, what is an IDE and why it is essential uh, for the world of software development. So an IDE is a uh, software application that provides a complete environment for software development. Okay, so it combines you know code editor, debugging tools, and various uh, you know features to streamline the process of writing, testing, and maintaining maintaining the code efficiently. In the next few minutes, we will be comparing the three popular IDE. Okay, that is Eclipse and IntelliJ and Visual Studio Code. So before that, uh, what is the major advantages of the IDE, major features of the IDE? Uh, I have jotted down all, the, all these you know, major features. So the first feature is it IDE equipped with advanced code editor okay? that covers features like you know syntax highlighting and uh, auto suggestions while coding itself it will suggest you. Uh, and uh, you know if there is any error you are made, making uh, so it identify the errors also okay that is the point number one the point number two is it incorporated the compilation okay so so ide itself it, it have its own integrated compiler okay so thereby automatically the transforming code into the executable files or byte code uh, it will obviously it will take care by its own ide okay that is one of the advantage or that is one of the feature the other feature is it is having debugging utilities okay debugging is a it's more uh, useful means it's a must and should for the developers okay so we can have the breakpoints and uh, we can have you know uh, if you want to check the code and if you want to check the code based on the you know variables where it is the we can trace the variables and we can trace the classes we can trace the methods level and all so this is very robust uh, in uh, in ide okay the other point is um, we are talking about uh, the integrations so the integration with the you know the version control tools such as uh, github and uh, svn and all by defaultly ide has its own you know we can integrate with the uh, this uh, you know uh, the version control so that we can commit the code we can you know uh, we can clone the code and uh, what not whatever we are doing it in you know in, uh, github console everything or uh, svn console so everything by using the id itself uh, within the same class uh, we can uh, you know we can do it uh, and the the last point uh, we are talking about uh, the it have predefined code structure and snippet that means uh, id uh, it uh, so for example if you want to enter the printer uh, print uh, system dot out print ln okay so in that case like, you need to write it so but an id itself it's have the snippets like you just put like yes out so it automatically print the line and uh, psvm for you know public static wide main so like that uh, we have built in id itself it have own you know the code uh, predefined structure that helps a lot of time you know so if you want to you know implement the try catch block you just try and then uh, control enter it automatically it creates the you know try catch block based on your need you don't need to write the structure and all so that is also one of the power of you know that is also one of the feature of the ide so those we can't you know we can't see it in you know a notepad that we know so yeah these are all the some of the you know major uh, features or advantages of the ide next uh, we will begin with the you know eclipse id so the eclipse id is an open source id okay uh, eclipse is a famous for adaptability okay so adaptability means like we can adopt uh, so we can integrate with the uh, you know databases we can integrate with some of these stuff like apis calling and the soap api calling so the adaptability feature is more that is the plugins available okay the adaptable feature is more that is a, so that is the reason it is top choice for the developers okay and 
Its features include code compilation, refactoring capability, and plugin supports. Okay. Eclipse has a strong community and uh, it has a successful ecosystem for the, their updates. Okay. There are a lot of developers are working behind the, you know, this IDE development. Okay. So next, we'll see what is the pros and cons of the, you know, Eclipse IDE. It's open source uh, and free, uh, making it accessible to developers of all levels from the beginners to you know experts level eclipse is a is most extensive uh, plugin ecosystems allowing developers to customize their workflow it has a rich debugging capability it helps identify the identify the issues and resolve efficiently okay it's platform independent okay it support various platform or various operating system actually there are active community that offer support and frequent update. When it comes to the disadvantages and occasions, okay, Eclipse might experience performance issues, okay, especially with the large project, okay. If you want to implement large project, there, there might be a performance issue. It has a uh, it has a landing curve, okay, which might be a challenging, you know, for the you know uh, beginners, okay. It certain features might require more complex uh, uh, configurations okay uh, while it's excellent for java it supports uh, minimum uh, for non java applications non java sorry non java languages for example if you want to implement if you want to work on the javascript concept in the uh, eclipse ide i would recommend uh, no no because you know the the you know the non java uh, languages support is very minimal in Eclipse IDE. The Eclipse IDE is specially designed for Java. Okay, the interface might be outdated in some areas. Okay, some areas outdated interfaces will be you can see. And uh, let's explore the uh, <coughs> IntelliJ IDE. It's a commercial uh, Java IDE for the uh, develop. Uh, it's developed by JetBrains. It's a commercial as in the in the before session also we have seen that uh, it's a paid version. Okay, uh, this IDE known for uh, the intelligent uh, code assistance. It offering suggestions as you code while coding itself. You, you get the suggestions. Okay, it's equipped with robust refactoring tools that helps improve your code structure and readability. It's seamless integration with various tools using uh, plugins. Okay. Also, it has an extensive support for additional framework. If you want to integrate with other framework also, we can integrate by using this ID. And when it comes to the you know pros and cons of IntelliJ IDE, so it uh, when uh, comes to the pros, okay, it offers intelligent code assistance which speed up the development. It, its user-friendly interface is welcoming to both a beginner and as well as experts. Okay, and uh, it has strong refactor tool, simplify code maintenance and enhancement. It integrated seamlessly with uh, various tools uh, for smooth workflow. It provides excellent support for the Java framework and, and enhancing the productivity. When it comes to the cons, cons, access to the advanced feature required a paid license. As we saw, it's a paid version. Only the evaluation version will be there only for 30 days. So if you want to experiment on IDE, you feel free to download and uh, use it for evaluation version for 30 days and you can explore. Okay. Compared to the some other IDE, it can be heavier in memory usage. Uh, while it has a decent plugin ecosystem, it's a smaller than Eclipse, I would say. It might have slightly slow, slower startup time. When, when you're launching the IDE, it might have slower comparing to the Visual Studio and Eclipse. On older mission, if you want to, you know, install this one, uh, it it uh, it need more resources actually so you might feel very 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 slow in the older machines 
let's wrap up our exploration with uh, you know a uh, visual studio code uh, it often consider a code editor actually it came up with initially the code editor okay but it recent time it of uh, footprint into the java development as well okay it's known for lightweight nature adaptability means like it had a adaptability that means like it can integrate with other languages such as javascript python and uh, even like c also we can run in by using the visual studio id it has a plugin extension that allowed versatile customization okay we can customize our id so in the last time also we have customized by by installing the extension java extension okay by default we don't have the capability to run the java uh, code but we have we, you remember we have installed the extension and we got a play button and by using that play button you know we have executed successfully by using the uh, visual studio id okay so there are a lot of extension support available okay similarly for uh, for other languages as well so uh, here uh, we'll we'll talk about the you know pros and cons of uh, visual studio id it's a fast and lightweight it making a very uh, great choice for the quick edit and uh, and smaller project okay it support uh, a wide range of languages expanding its usefulness okay so initially it has a very minimal languages support okay uh, i remember that like it was supporting only html and uh, javascript and slowly 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 it have you know it was like anything like it um, it supports like any language i would say okay there are a lot of plugins are available in visual studio id The extension market provide access excess of additional features. It's highly customizable and adapting to your workflow and preferences. It uh, we will get frequent updates and strong community support uh, uh, that keep uh, keep it evolving. Okay, it keep on evolving as I mentioned. Okay, when it comes to the uh, cons, while while it is a popular. it's a specialized for it's not a specialized for the java development okay with the full fledge id okay i would say like it will not be fulfill as a java development id because um, it has some you know java related feature might be uh, missing by default okay um the debugging capability though good uh, might not be power as you know the dedicated id such as eclipse and intellij those are very powerful okay by comparing to the uh, you know visual studio for java development i am mentioning java development okay for other front end development visual studio id it's very good but especially for the java development it's not as good as you know the other uh, language okay so depending on your needs you might need to mul uh, have multiple extension to fully support java okay so you need to keep on install some of the uh, you know extension and make it customizable okay it's have you know vast uh, you know we can come uh, we can customize the id but in case of eclipse and uh, intellij by defaultly you will get all the java related stuff ready madely ready for example you will get to know you know server capability and for in, for running the one simple java program you have everything everything in place in eclipse and intellij but here you have to keep on install your own extension to you know to work on java development it's not a suitable for complex project that required extensive development development tool okay and next finally and that bring us to the end of our exploration of these three the major ids okay remember the choice of id depend on your preferences the complexity of your project and the resources at your hand okay so the resources might be they might be very strong in uh, intellij id some of the resources are very strong in uh, you know eclipse id uh, some of them very strong in visual studio id it's based on their you know personal choice 
I would say. So the, at the end of the day, we know all the Java code or whatever it is like we are going to create a final var or er or jar file or the class file that is our end of our goal okay so it's based on your choice or based on your uh, you know based on your strength you can choose the id okay so whether it's a eclipse or intellij or visual studio each has its strength and weaknesses okay suppose for example if you want to just run the you know core java program so i am good with you know i am happy with uh, visual studio id but if i want to implement some server related stuff like if i want to work on web application or if i want to work on er application or if i want to work on some spring hibernate integration applications so this this kind of stuff so it required a more support id support so in that case so i would not support i would not uh, suggest uh, you know uh, the visual studio id i would suggest um, eclipse or intellij based on one so uh, as i mentioned uh, earlier like every id have its own strength and weaknesses okay so again i would like to uh, conclude with no one size fits all idioms okay so um yeah uh, i i think i have already explained what is no one size fits all in earlier session if you want to know you just go through that and uh, explore okay so yeah that's all about this video thanks for watching if you enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more until next time take care bye bye see you soon